to the channel. So we're going to dive into a video today that has been requested for quite some time. Uh, we've done a live test when we got the brand new Sim 2 product in our hands, but we haven't yet delved into what, in our opinion, was the, uh, the three wood of the year last year, fair wood of the year, because the five wood was great as well. But the Sim Titanium was, was our best seller at TXG. I personally played it, loved it. It kind of made me fall back in love with fairy woods, to be yeah. honest. Um, something I have a bit of a, a struggle with at times, as many people do. Um, but I'm going to do a little testing today between Sim and Sim 2 just to see see what it does. I'm excited. I love that. I, I played it as well. I thought it was a great fairy wood. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really was. Uh, it was great in ball speed. It looked great. It was, it was very forgiving. It had a, a, a confidence inspiring look to it wasn't too uh, small of a profile in the head. It, it kind of gave you a lot of, uh, a lot of confidence, especially off the tee. I loved, loved this off the tee, but TaylorMade have made some refinements. Yeah, I mean, with it's 10 cc smaller, which is, yeah. which is interesting. I mean, that smaller tour profile mm -hmm. um, kind of screams not forgiving, um, but with moving the back weight further back and more exposed V steel, it's it's a more forgiving fairway wood, which yeah. is interesting. So. Um, Generally, if a lot of people I think would look at a smaller fairy wood and go, you know, you got to be on or you got to be, be a, a certain type a of player. player to use it. Yeah. But this is, this has got its all in one package, mm -hmm. really small profile, but super, super forgiving. And when I saw that it was smaller, I kind of squinted my face a little bit and went, oh, I, I wish they hadn't done that. But, you know, today I've looked at them side by side and actually it's not, it's not as bad as no. I thought it was going to be. It's not as small, 10 cc is not a huge, a huge deal. No, no. Um, but I think to your point, the bigger deal is this, this move, the change to the weight positions. Um, you know, the, the weight being in the front of, of Sim and now being in the back of Sim 2 is obviously what's allowed them to play with head shape a little bit. That CG uh, position, moving that around a little bit uh, has, has definitely helped. So um, cosmetically a little bit different. Kind of obviously Sim 2 has this darker profile with the carbon on top, which yeah. I like. Uh, I still like last year's. It's not, it's not like a, I have a huge preference for one over the other. Sim 2 looks a little less busy. Uh, when you look at that carbon, that's, that's it's almost a little hypnotic, kaleidoscope yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of the gray carbon. Yeah. Um, Sim 2020 has a few more lines on the top that just help it square up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. This is more finished and rounded off, but. It definitely is, yeah. Even if you look at the kind of little ridge on the top line, whereas that blends into the carbon yeah, now, yeah. a little bit different. But uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to the numbers, isn't it? Definitely. Okay, well, let's start off. Let's get some baseline numbers with my original um, three wood. We're gonna play it in the shaft that I play, the Acra TZ75 M5. And then we're literally just gonna switch that out and see if it's as good of a fit. Cool. Okay. So we're starting with your gamer. Again, Acra TZ575 M5. Mm -hmm. Stiffer of the two profiles, TZ5, TZ6, now the TZ6 CB. Um, I've always gravitated towards something that would be more considered tip stiff, not your conventional fairywood selection, but that's always really suited me. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason, I used to play Tensei White, and then when I went to, to TZ5, it's stable, it's, it plays stiff, but it's really smooth, which is what I absolutely love about it. Um, knowing that Sim launches up a little bit more because of this 80 gram V-steel sole allowed me to play that shaft as well. So it's, it's a good, good combo. It's gonna, honestly, it's gonna, take some, it's gonna take some beating to get out of the bag yeah. for me this year. It's a good strike. Yep. That was well struck. Yeah, that's more like it. That's nice. Yeah, 
and strength. So new for this year, Sim 2 uh, Titanium, like we chatted about earlier, 10cc smaller, uh, more exposed V-Steel for forgiveness, the CG's pulled back. I mean, this is all in one package to be long, high launching, forgiving. Um, when we were weighing out the heads, we noticed that this head is about three, three and a half grams heavier without an adapter in it. So mm. um, I'm excited to see the numbers on this. It's got to tick a lot of boxes, a fair way, doesn't it? All the things you were saying there, you know, it's got to be high launch. It's got to be good with turf interaction. Ultimately, it's got to do two jobs. It's got to be good off the turf and good off the tee. Yeah. And it, it's a, that's why people tend to stick to three woods that they love because it's not easy to find that. You tend to find some that are really good off the ground, but they don't work so well off the tee. And um, when people find that, you know, faithful three wood, it tends to stay in the bag for quite some time. And I, and I feel quite similar about uh, last year. So this is probably going to have to do something unexpected for me to, to replace it, yeah. but keep an open mind. Cool. Sounded really good. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit more of the old swing. I didn't love the swing, but I like the result. Mm -hmm. Pitching that on it, 275 though. Yeah. All right, interesting numbers with, uh, with Sim 2. Um, I mean, Ball speed launch, all you know, that's the same. Efficiency is the same. Mm -hmm. We see a, a kick up in, in spin quite significantly, which I think for for three wood is what you're is what you're looking for. I'd be I'd be delighted to see a little uh, little lift in spin rate off the uh, off the deck. Yeah, you can just see the slight difference in the trajectories. I kind of don't feel like with the other one on the angle of descent coming in. If I'm coming into par five or something like that. I don't, I don't have any hope of, of holding a green with that, but when I start s sneaking into the 3000s, you definitely do. Definitely, yeah, and I, I mean, little things we were talking about too, does it look less forgiving? Does it, you know, do you feel like you can't get as much out of it? I mean, it sounds great, it looks good, it, numbers, are, numbers are solid, I, it's impressive. It's good, yeah, it is good. It's something I would say for me, uh, I, would, I would enjoy a subtle difference like that. Looking at the numbers, if I was a consumer, what would I say? I would say they both look excellent. They both look like they're performing, you know, very, very similar. I would say a lower handicap bracket might mm -hmm. gravitate towards this one. Someone in a higher handicap bracket might go just, well, if the ball speed is the same and it's a bigger head profile, I might prefer that. And I can go probably save myself some money, get Definitely. a last year's version if you can find one. I'm, I'm sure they're not easy to find now because they were so popular. So, uh, yeah, I can see an argument for, for both. It's not a massive change, but why would it be? Yeah. We already said it was the club of the year. They're, you're not going to expect to see ball speed jumps. It's not possible. No. Both of them were maxed out in efficiency on, on both of those fronts. So it's just little subtle tweaks uh, that they've, they've done with it, which is it looks like they've done a really nice job, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. I think sometimes that consumers... And, and, and the marketing drives this. The marketing drives the consumer to believe something big and different has happened. When it, it doesn't move that way, it's the needle yeah. just, just nudges along. And, and sometimes it gives in one and takes away in another aspect. But um, that's what exactly what we're seeing here. Sometimes when I read the comments in these and they go, well, why would you guys say it's better? It's the same. Different ways it's, yeah. it's better, uh, and different ways it's, it's, it's not as good. Yeah. Um, so it just depends what, what it is that you're looking for. But the thing that excites me with it is they've left the key ingredients for performance in there. Someone like me can go hit that and go, 
yep, I'm walking out with that one because I like my spin rate being 400 RPMs more. That means something to me. Definitely. To some people, that won't mean an awful lot. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I think even coming off tour presence, something a little bit more compact for those guys and that those subtle changes that TaylorMade's made from last year to this year, like you said, it's not massive, but yeah. it's, it's just tidying it it's up more than anything. It? Excellent stuff. Cool. All right, Michael. Uh, good. Impressive. I love that it's not taken away any of the performance that we saw from last year's version. Ball speed, identical. Launch angle, identical. And we're seeing a little bit of a change in spin. That, to me, if I'm going to dig into why is that happened, that that's becomes a CG yeah. uh, conversation. CG probably moved up a little bit, which means a similar strike will spin a little bit more. Subtle, subtle little adjustments, but to me, I would rather... I would rather my flight looked a bit more like that. Mm -hmm. I think if I'm a consumer, uh, I'm looking at it going, not a big difference. Some people might prefer that you know they, they saw higher launch, lower spin with, uh, with last year's version. They can obviously get it for a bargain now versus this year's going to be at the premium price point. Definitely. But um, I think both are great options. Mar I mean, marginal gain, but that's the type of three wood for a player like yourself, the, the numbers you want, that little bit more spin. Just yeah fraction more control. I mean, we knew Sim 2020 was great, and this is, they've just cleaned it up a little bit. They have. Just slightly different um, sort of land and, and sort of uh, land angle and, and difference coming into the greens. It gives me an option to actually hit it as a second shot. Yeah. The other one was, it, it looked like a driver. If somebody walks out here and their launch is 12 degrees and their spin is at just under 26, a lot of the time we're very happy with that. We wouldn't say we'd be happy with 12 and 29. No. So the, the previous one was behaving like a, a bit of a, a two wood. Yeah. This is behaving like a three wood. Now, it, it maybe, maybe leads me to want to go and, and play with the loft sleeve a little bit on my current one. You know, I, I love what, what that one offers um, before just, just discarding it and Definitely. changing it out. Yeah. That's something I would really think of. Um, two great options though, really, really nice uh, options. And, you know, we, we talked about the Mizuno being, you know, the one, the, the three wood of the year so far. Um, I can't wait to do that test now. Yeah, yeah. Put head those to two head. head to head and, and see what's what, because that Mizuno had similar characteristics. It launched really nice and high and was, was great off the turf. Yeah, yeah no, excited for that one. Definitely. Okay, guys, um, more of the same. I think high performance. TaylorMade have kind of kept all the key ingredients in, in there with the Visto 80 grams. Zaytec face, twist face built into there. Slightly different package. The lower handicapper will love it. The higher handicapper might still prefer last year's bigger footprint. But again, that's going to be the discretion of the user. Um, different people will prefer different things. Definitely. Good stuff. Okay, stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.